The Yiddish term for success and blessings is Hachlake und Brake. Jewish actors living in Germany playfully adapted this phrase into German and would wish each other Halls und Beinbruch, which kind of means break a leg. It'll be fine, Zoe. It's not like the theater's closing down or anything. I know, it's just that I don't want to have to leave behind all the memories I have here. You can just make new memories at the new theater. No, literally. Whenever I'm afraid I'm going to forget something, I always write it down. On the wall, the floor, the ceiling. If we leave, I'm going to forget everything I'm supposed to remember. I'm not really sure how to respond to that. And the worst part is, I can't even remember where I wrote down most of the things I wrote down. I probably should have written down where I wrote them down. What if someone comes along and remembers the things that I wrote down? Don't worry, I'm sure you didn't write down anything too important. Are you just saying that because you think I'm stupid? I'm not that stupid. I'm actually pretty smart. <laughs> Unless I'm saying things. Which is basically all the time. It takes someone really smart to think of the things I think of. You have no idea what goes on inside my head. Let's keep it that way. So if we're just the sum total of our memories, and someone found my memories, then... Would they be me? But what if they'd be better at me than I am? Don't worry, I'm pretty sure there's only one you. Well, if they were me, then I wouldn't care, because... I'm the meest me ever. Okay, that was good. Now try it again. Hi, Jackson. Good. Now, Jackson, what do you say? Hi, Caitlin. How's it going? Great. <laughs> it's so weird talking to you. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> LOL. You know you don't say LOL in real life. Right? You know what? <laughs> this is just too hard. No, no, no. Y you were doing great. I was? Yeah. It was as if we were actually having a conversation. Guys? I'm so sorry. I can't talk to you. I've been waiting a whole year just to be in the same room, and now I'm messing everything up. Guys? You're not messing everything up. I'm not. No, it's actually really cool seeing you. You're way prettier in person. I am? Totally. Guys? Look, you're doing it. Doing, doing what? what? You're talking to each other. You're having a real conversation. She's right. We're actually having a conversation about not having a conversation. I'm a genius. The best part about this song is the confrontation between two powerful women over this girl that they both call their daughter. But the witch never actually calls the princess her daughter. Then why would she get so defensive against the queen? <laughs> the snow princess is totally the witch's daughter because she used her magic to bring her to life. The queen's more like an adoptive mother. So would the sculptor who actually created the princess, would she be another mother? Yes, the snow princess has three mothers and they all want what they think is best for their child. I never thought about it that way. It's a really cool play. It's all about redemption and second chances. I just thought it was a cross between Pinocchio and Frosty the Snowman. I never thought about it that way. Can we just run the lines? Yeah, sure. Look. I'm doing my best, but I just, I don't want to be here. My mom's forcing me, and Mr. Don, he gave me the biggest role in the whole show. He'll do fine. It's like I don't have a say in anything. I just wish life didn't have to be so hard. Hey. Hey. Hey? That's all I get? What did you expect? I don't know. Maybe 
Hi, I'm Rebecca. I can't believe we've ever been in a show together or something like that. Sorry to disappoint you. I'm not disappointed. I can see you trying not to figure out how mysterious I am. Oh, really? I know. You can't help it. There's something different and intriguing about me. It must be nice having such a high opinion of yourself. It's better than having a low opinion of myself. Oh, really? So what you didn't get the part? You think I want to be the baker? At least you get to play a smart character. I'm just here to have fun, not to stroke my ego. I don't believe that. Why not? Because you're stroking your ego right now, <laughs> mister. I don't care what anyone thinks about me as long as they think I'm mysterious. So you admit it. I'm mysterious. I'm not admitting anything. <laughs> you have so much anger. You should really channel it into something useful. I'd probably get arrested. <laughs> Oh, and my name's not, I'm so mysterious that no one knows what to think about me, or, or whatever. It's, it's Cooper, like the barrel maker. I know who you are. And you're Rebecca, who does great at any part she gets. <laughs> yeah, right. It's true, I've seen you. I saw you in the Big Bad Wolf and Beanstalk. You were amazing. Tell that to Don. He's the one that told me. He did? Yeah. Liar. At least I'm not lying to myself. What's that supposed to mean? See, you're intrigued. So, I guess this is goodbye. Yeah, I can't believe it's really happening. I know. Who's gonna move in here? Probably no one. So they're just gonna let this place sit empty? That's so sad. I know. What a waste. What about the ghosts that live here? What ghosts? Here we go again. Are they just gonna sit here all sad and empty? Or are they gonna come with us? How many times have we had to tell you? There are no such thing as ghosts. Yeah, huh? I've heard them. Oh, really? Yeah, so has everyone. Not me. Neither have I. Well, you probably just don't pay attention. And your imagination probably was playing tricks on you. Well, no, because backstage, I once heard a girl who was laughing, and there was literally, like, no one back there. It's a children's theater. People are laughing all the time. That could have been anything. Well, even Mr. Don says he hears them when he's all alone at night. And Mr. Don has a crazy imagination. Macy, it's an old building. Everything makes noise. The pipes, the air conditioning, even the train rattles the building when it goes by. You probably heard some noise and thought something was there when really nothing was. It must be so lame being you. That's why we keep you around. 